On February 26th, an entire semi-truck loaded with food was delivered to four native reservation communities in South Dakota. I was a driver of that truck. All of the food was donated by the Midwest Food Bank in Peoria, Illinois. All the fuel and travel expenses was donated by you guys, as well as some people in person. And I made a video of the trip uh, going down there to pick it up, as well as going all the way up there and delivering and dropping it off. Uh, it, it was amazing. I met Mark on the train on the way back from North Dakota. He was on his way back to his Amish community east of Peoria, Illinois. He was telling me about how the, the natives on the reservations in North South Dakota were running low on food and how him and his friend Brad were trying to get donations for food to take up there. They didn't have a problem getting the food, but they didn't know how they were going to get the food up there. And that's where we come in. I was able to visit Mark and his family down in Illinois. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. I told him that uh, my brother Abe has a truck and a trailer that he would let us use. Mark was like, yeah, that would be awesome. We don't have enough money for the fuel to take it up there. But his friend Brad was like, hey, I'm going to get on the phones and I'm going to see how much money I can raise for this trip. He was able to raise around $400 and I knew that wasn't going to be enough. So I went on Facebook and started a fundraiser and I asked for $2,750. Thanks to you guys, it went well over $3,000. And with the extra money, I was able to take myself on a really nice vacation. Just kidding. But I'll tell you what all the extra money is going to be used for at the end of the video. So keep watching. We are at the Midwest Food Bank right now. <laughs> Store number three. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Perfect. We are inside the Midwest Food Bank right here. Oh, and here's the cookies. We got some cinnamon rolls and we got two dozen what they call thumbprint cookies from. Oh, really? Hey guys, that'll make you fat. I better take that. <laughs> Getting her loaded up right now. Alright guys, this is what the trailer looks like, empty, and that's what it looks like loaded. All loaded, packed up, and ready to go. Thanks to all the wonderful people here at Midwest Food Bank. This guy is the guy that loaded us up and uh, got us ready to go. What all do we have on here? We have granola cereal, Velveeta cheese sauce, we got a whole bunch of cookies in, a, in bulk, chips, meals ready to eat, Rice Krispie treats, cereal, crackers, Nutri-Grain bars, dried cranberries. Lots and <laughs> lots of stuff. We're leaving Midwest Food Bank in Peoria, Illinois. Cold, rainy, stormy, snowy, and freezing. High wind, a lot of sleet mixed, ice with it, roads will be horrible. We'll probably leave, I'm gonna say, Monday morning. Whoa, that'll really? Put on, that'll put us on the res Tuesday afternoon. Due to the storms and bad road conditions, we were delayed two days, but Mark's family took me in and let me stay there while we rode out the storm. We are just pulling out right now. Got that figured out. We have 824 miles left to go. He is full, and that is thanks to you guys. We got a ton of food right there. Second stop on the way out there. I think we're somewhere in Iowa still. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. He's gonna drive this time, he says. We just made it to Motel 8. We're getting really, really close. We gotta turn the heater on. It's really cold in here. Good morning, guys. We are hitting the road a little earlier than I was feeling like, but Brad's like, we are out of here at seven. We're gonna see 
see if we can get the reefer running. That way we'll unload in uh, warmer weather. Oh, that was close. Folks, we are now in South Dakota getting really, really close. What are you doing here? Willie's in charge of a funny farm. I'm over at work and they're over playing, playing. Go right in that driveway. It's that round building. There's the round building. the houses you see were boarded up i'm not really sure which ones had heat or not but i did see a sign that said all energy funds have been depleted and from what i've been hearing that was the case they were talking about taking the, all the pallets that we had from the food and breaking them down to burn for heat we still got to unload all the way to the front mark is doing an amazing job you weren't prepared for this work <laughs> This is like the real good stuff. <laughs> We are attempting to unload this by hand. Watch it break. That's heavy. Hey guys, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Granola. Another step down. That was a good one. We got a lot of help. Two more steps. Two more stops. Here we go. They really liked it here. Hello, how do you It don't look like it. industrial sized boxes of granola that we had to separate for four different communities so that's why we're separating them here just got done with our third stop and everything went good they got some cuts we're just uh, setting them up and we're gonna hit the hay and we've got one more stop tomorrow some of the granola for uh, the Catholic Church that we just stayed at last night. Hey, let's grab some more, um, just a handful of beef jerky for a guy named Dreaming Bear. Yeah. Look at that dog. He wants something to eat. I'm gonna give him a cookie. Take care. There was a guy that was walking by with his dog. I'll, I'll let you have whatever you can carry. Uh, a box of MREs and cookies for his grandchildren. Oh, and a bunch of beef jerky. And uh, right that's, there, right there he is. Heavy box too. Hey, honk your horn. <laughs> <laughs> Last stop. Then we're totally unloaded. Yep. But this is where we're going to be unloading. There's rumors that there's a dock that we can back up to. It'll be the first dock. No, Last it's not load. a rumor. It's not a rumor, he says. Where'd you hear it? I, Brad told me. Brad said? Yeah. Still gonna have to hand it out. <laughs> oh, with the pallet? Yeah, I just saw the pallet. Oh, that's that 
would be really nice. See that door right there on the side? That's your loading dock. <laughs> well, Brad, I thought you said we have an unloading dock. Not only do we not have a loading dock, uh, well, yeah, there's a loading dock in the back. Uh, okay. Are you sure? I don't think so. There is a loading dock uh, in the this back. This is the first, um, first stop that not only do we have to unload without a loading dock, but we got to carry it all. Hey, close your window. All right. <laughs> As called. Change the subject. There Maybe they'll have Don a bunch of school kids that uh Taking pictures. Yep. Good old Don. He's been fun to have on the trip. <laughs> Uh. Alright, there you go. Get the young ones up there. They blaze. Okay. Two more people up here, two more. I'm having fun with that now. Eee. <laughs> Where's the guy with the camera? He can come up too. Oh. Come up here. Stand right there. Go pro just film. Yep. Peace. Alright. Alright, MREs. Oh, I'll take one of those home. <laughs> I eat those like a. Hey, we get low battery. Low battery? Oh yeah, it's getting low. All right, this is my my film buddy GoPro Master right here. Did a good job. All right, we'll need more help once the line gets longer, going farther right, back. But you want to be on there too? Yeah, hit me up on Snap. What's Dr. your Snapchat <laughs> name? <laughs> Doctor Destroy sixty five. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna follow a box all the way along. See where it goes. Well, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Where'd the other guys go? <laughs> right here. <laughs> all right, we're saying bye to everyone here. We are all unloaded. Uh, Brad is an awesome guy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So when it was all over, I invited Mark over to meet my family, and we went for a snowmobile ride, but not for too long. Oh man! I got That's off the trail. <laughs> Uh, the snow is so deep. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That is going to be a trip I will remember for the rest of my life. I want to thank everybody who donated and supported to help make this possible. You guys are awesome, and thank you so very much. Oh, and the money. Yes, all the extra money will be used to go back to the reservation. Brad will be taking his truck and trailer back out there so all the extra money will continue to help bring supplies to the reservations.